welcome back and in this lecture we will be actually lighting and rendering our character so let's get started so first of all we need to add a ground for that shift a and add a plane scale it up go to the edit mode and select this edge just go to the edge selection select this edge and extrude it toward the upward like this now um, come up here to the object mode control a and apply scale and rotation now go again to the edit mode select this edge and control b to bevel that uh, increase the segments with your scroll button somehow like this and now once you confirm that right click and shade smooth so now we have such a nice background after that we need a camera so shift a add a camera now move it up here as you can see it's to the front already so it's fine just come up here to the zero and if the camera is a bit rotated or something like it is somehow that I feel so alt R to just reset the rotation now R Y and now put 90 to add a 90 degree angle and enter, enter to confirm that now if we go and numpad 0 to view in the camera you will see that it's somehow like this with the G you can just grab that but I would suggest don't do it for now just come up here and change this one to the orthographic and now let's G and Z move that and make sure you have the right resolution for that uh, just scale this one and put it somehow like here and now rotate the camera to the x direction a bit down so we see the feeds full somehow like this and now let's come up here to the camera and change the scale to somehow like this now g again and i think the resolution might need to be changed a bit more let's make it a bit square and now g and z and now change this one again to just scale that I think this somehow seems fine now if we go to the render it will look something like this because we are in the cycle if you are not you can change from EV to cycle but there are a lot of problem there isn't any light uh, the light there they're currently coming from is from this background if we make this darker as you can see we are will be seeing nothing so let's go back to the solid again and add some lights so uh, the lighting setup that I am using here will be a three point light setup. So shift A and first of all let's add a area light and this will be our um, spotlight. This will be creating a huge spot from this side. So from the side view uh, keep it here rotate that and move it up here in the X direction right R and Z to rotate that to the character and in the camera angle let's uh, be honest and make it somehow adjust it like this scale it so we have some soft lighting now come up here and make this one to about um, 150 and let's see how this looks it somehow looks fine I think yep and now shift D to duplicate this light put it here alt R to just reset it now rotate that and rotate that to this character and this will be a, a, a fill light since it's uh, really dark without this one so it will be just a filling light with the intensity of 50 now we need a rim light cause uh, rim light is probably using for highlighting the edges and it looks it create a, such a cute result so shift a and add another area light and this time rotate that from the side angle 90 degree and put it here and in the from the front view it should be here and a bit rotate it to the character and scale this one a bit now uh, the color is totally depending on you which colors you need to add but we will that later let's first make this one to about 200 it will be a strong light or maybe 150 
yeah 150 looks fine um, let's make it somehow like this so it highlighting this area but also this one and it's it's creating a nice effect um, okay um, that's somehow it for the lighting but we need to change the background so let's add a simple dark color not too dark but a bit dark and let's make this specular to about zero and the roughness to about zero so it don't disturb our character okay another thing that we are going to do is add a light for the background as you can see it's flat color but we need some gradient here so shift a and add a this time we would add a um, point light and let's push it here if we see in the render view it's making this kind of gradient which is good now we need a i think we need a color for it so let's make it um yep red color this looks fine um for the side one let's add a blue or maybe for the rim one let's add it a blue but this looks nice and now shift d to duplicate this color to the x direction and rotate that to the character and now let's make this one a red color so it's um, such a nice combination of two colors now we can make the background a bit darker because yeah that looks good also select this color and I think we would need to increase the intensity from 10 to somehow 50 or if it's a bit more I think 30 will work yeah I think that's somehow fine okay um, I think I would need the camera to be a bit like wider and also push it back a bit the reason for that is I want a an effect here like um, a dark effect here so I would need it for that but I think yep this seems fine and let's have a render before render we have to come up here and make the resolution to about 200 and come up here and make the samplings to about 1024 this would be fine and also don't forget to enable the denoise and now let's F12 and take a render. It's taking somehow like 1 minute and 20 seconds. Oh that's the time. Um, it's showing 6 minutes but I hope it will be far faster than this one. okay and yep we are done with this um let's do a bit of compositing in the photoshop so yes just save this render um let's call this one render make sure to copy the path um yep i think this is fine <coughs> i have a free photoshop you can get a free photoshop it's uh, called photopy it's officially i think from adobe and it's totally free so if you don't have the photoshop you can just use this one or you can use an alternate for this one because we are doing some really simple stuff okay so i add this image 
and now what we have to do is add a brightest brightness and contrast and let's increase the brightness and a bit of contrast and yep I think this this is making a good impact after that we need to add a new layer let's put up a gradient make sure to change this one to a radical and let's do some crazy stuff now drag it somehow like this I think it's inverse so we need we would need some we would need to inverse it so now control I to just inverse it and I think this is somehow what we needed um, I, also we can just change this one so directly to use that Yeah, this is somehow looks fine it have some radius now let's just change this one to a multiply or just see which one would work better I think the multiply is fine but it's a bit too much so we would change this a bit more according to how we want it or another method is that simply add a layer and pick up the brush and make sure you have a soft brush and just draw a line with the darker color somehow like this and now change this one again to, to a multiply one and decrease this one now this is somehow making a good impact I think let's keep it 50% and yeah this is looking good so we changed two things and yep this is the results so that was it and hopes you like a lot and you learn a lot from this course so thank you so much for watching See you in the new course maybe. Bye for now.